Hi, and welcome to Acid's Tech Tips. A user left a comment on my on one of my videos and asked for a little extra help regarding the FTP option uh, in relation to the Asus RTN 56U wireless gaming router. So what I'm going to do is this video is for him, and hopefully other people may benefit from it as well. I'm going to walk you through the process of setting up a external hard drive with your ASUS router so that you'll be able to use it as an FTP, kind of like an FTP server over the internet. So in order to do that, the first step is you need to open up a web browser. So let's click on a browser and in the address bar to access your router you want to enter in 192 dot one six eight dot one point one unless you've specified it to be anything else this will be the access for your router it's your standard internal so when you click on that you'll get your login details now unless you've actually set different details the user default details are written on the back of your router so I've just done a reset to make this simple for you all so the defaults are admin and admin and this will bring you to the main page. Now, as you can see here, I've plugged in my external Philips disk. To set this up, you're going to need to click on AI disk. Now, here, you're going to have a nice big picture saying go. Or, if you've already tried this before, you're going to have the same screen as me and the option to set again. So click set again. Before worrying about user accounts, security and stuff like that, you want to just make sure that you can actually access your disk first. Once you're able to do that, I recommend then worrying about the user accounts afterwards. So to start off, click on admin because you want your account, the first account, to be in the admin account. Click next to confirm that. Um, this page here is your DNS settings page. A DNS to break it down for you is when you access something online instead of accessing it with a whole load of numbers like when you go to Google you don't stick in an IP address you stick in google.com so that's what this is here in order to access your disk online from another computer you don't want to be entering in your public ID or a lot of people make the mistake of entering in their internal ID which it, it doesn't work so we need to translate that into something that we're going to be a little bit more familiar with. So we'll do asset script. Um, your login, will, or sorry, not your login, your URL or your host name is now going to be whatever you type in there. So it'll be ftp dot, what you type in, dot aces.com dot com. So click next to proceed to the confirmation screen and here you're going to get the confirmation that this is going to be your host name so in future if you want to access your disk from abroad from another computer another uh, internet connection that's that'll be where you do it from click on finish to confirm those settings and here is the summary so your internet file transfer protocol the link for it is here and your local area connection file transfer protocol is this one here. So let's go ahead and check these out, make sure they're working. So first off, I'm going to test out the internal one. Here we are, I'm now entering in password. And we're in, happy days. That's my disk there. Now we're going to check the external one. Now if this one works, you know you're going to be able to connect to your disk from another computer online. So let's give it a shot. It should be exactly the same. Share your files in the USB disk through the internet. Oh yeah. Um, the same standard password, unless you choose to put in your own password, is ad admin. Oopsie daisy. Let's try that again. And there we are. So let's just see. And here we go. You can see everything on, on the disk. So that's basically what I would see now if I access this from a mate's laptop or computer online. So now we know it's working. Cool. 
to set up uh, the user accounts and the security. It is the, the procedure is pretty easy. You just click on the USB application, plus for add an account, minus for delete an account, and that there is for modify an account. Um, if you just want to open free for all, let anybody access, click on share without an account, and then you've just got your standard uh, options here for what's going on on the disk, what you want to share, what you don't want to share. Is in here, your user accounts, and then types of servers, iTunes Media Server, enable your download manager, and so on. Now, if you have things that you want to add to this disk, um, how you do it, because this is not your conventional FTP server, it's connected to your router, you've got to access, you've got to access your drive via the network because your drive is no longer a part of your computer so to do that you need to access the drive using a uh, basically a backslash and a backslash well, I don't know what you call it but that's what you do to to access things on a network so to show you how that's done this is it here so quickly let me close that down you don't need to look at that you click on the Windows key and you tap R which will bring up your run box now you type in backslash backslash rt hyphen n 56u for the wireless router hit enter and that'll open up the folder for you and then from here you can basically just drag and drop in whatever it is you want to share into any folder as easy as that happy days now just gonna add one more little thing here if you do the Windows key and R to get your own box, type that in and it goes, you need additional permissions. You can also try accessing the run box from all programs, accessories, and you'll get it in here. There you go. And click it from there. Sometimes that works as well. I hope this has answered all of your questions, mate. Hope the video helps. And for anyone who's watching this, um, hopefully the video has done the job. If not, don't hesitate, send us a, a mail, leave us a comment, and I'll definitely see what I can do to help. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Take care. Bye-bye.